quarter to six in the morning minus six showing outside non-anglers would ask why those who fish you'd understand i'll see you down at the beach How are we? Very well, thank you. You? Very, very well, fellow. Good. Nice to see you. Good to be here. You are dressed up like a fishing ninja. I am, well, fishing something. Can I see the ninja move? <laughs> Didn't you? No? Yeah. Did you not see it? Oh, that was that quick? Yeah. You missed it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep doing it. <laughs> Well, nice to see you. Beautiful day. It is. It's a stunning day. Yeah. Now that wind's died down. We had a bit of wind down here yesterday and that was cold. But today with no breeze and no wind. Marvellous. Yeah. Might Good. Even get a tan. Let's get fishing. Good morning and welcome to another one of my videos. We are at Shoreham today. Um, bit of an interesting frosty drive down. Minus seven was the coldest it got. We're fishing the West Arm. Now I've not fished here for 30 plus years. I've got Andy with me, I've got Martin, and Rob's turning up shortly. Tide is coming in, high tide's at 12.15. Wind was west-northwest, but it's dropped right away. So it's flat calm, beautiful day, lovely and sunny, tad cold, and we're the only ones down here. So first rod, the one I'm gonna chuck this away, I've got two hooks scratching rig 12 inch uh, traces on there size two hooks and I'm fishing a four ounce weight black lug a couple of little beads on there see if we can pick something up out here don't need to cast very far don't need to uh, get it too far as long as it doesn't tangle Andy up because he turns into a raging lion you're gonna go oh he did <laughs> And again, it shows how tame they are, doesn't it? Can you do me a favour? <laughs> Can you stuff those inside your jacket and defrost yeah, them course. for me? Down, down the front? Or down I the... Well, I don't mind. <laughs> that is, is that a no? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a possibility. Of a no. If you yeah. can break one off. But our, our, our friendship's on the line. Well, that's good what? No, good <laughs> I've got a, a whole squid, two hook panel, biggish hooks, tiny little weight, couple of ounces. I'm just going to bob it down here and let it bounce around in the uh, tide as the tide comes in. Literally a lob, if that. Like so. Let that sink. If we were taking bets as to what Rob is going to say, the first utterance that comes out of his mouth, what do you think that might be? Mm, there's not been any much caught up here this week. Not much caught? Okay. I'll have a small bet with you. <laughs> if those words come uttering out of his mouth a pound, <laughs> if the words do not come out of his mouth by 10 o'clock, you give me a pound. Rightio. I think you might win. <laughs> uh, Morning. Minus two when I got out of the car. Minus two? Yeah. <laughs> Lovely to see you, fellow. Okay. You Words of wisdom to... for us? Fish somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Like, where? Stay at home is what yeah, you mean. Yeah. Yeah. So Martin has broken his duck. A little whiting. They are taking the mickey out of me. I have just said, do I put a set of mackerel feathers on and have a go and then not catch anything and look a burke? And what was the rejoinder? Don't even bother with the feathers. Was it something like that? You don't need, you don't need them. Saturday, one week later, back down at Shoreham, going on the arm, which we can see way off in the distance. Take two. Yeah, yeah, let's hope we take more than two today. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what pearls have you for me today? 
we've got freshly made sausage rolls. <laughs> Fresh sausage rolls, that'll do. <laughs> uh, who made them? We did. <laughs> what, you and your wife? Yes. Oh, right. Yeah. No, she Cause... did. She made them last night for us. Because if you made them, I wouldn't be bothering with weights. <laughs> I, I would use, because there would be probably a lot of pastry and not a lot of sausage. <laughs> anyway, we'll move on from that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, There's always somebody out there, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, anyway, yeah. right, let's get fishing. What are you fishing today? Uh, two hook snapper, one up, one down, salted and oiled, and, and um, frozen black. Right. And just scratchy. Cool. And what have you got, Andy? I've got a one up, one down, which actually turned out to be a two up, one down. A two up, one down, okay. And, and, a, and a flapper. And a flapper. I've just got bits of frozen lug on, black lug. A few, two are tipped off with squid, just for a bit of difference. Okay. Well, I've got a two up, frozen black lug, and a single hook, long flowing trace, up and over, load of bling on the end, frozen black lug. What? Right, well, let's fingers and toes and let's yeah. get fishing. I had um, another person uh, comment on one of my films, why don't I keep fish? Um, and I had a few of these questions. Well, two reasons, which I've explained before. Um, they bring me such joy and I like putting them back, generally. And whether you put them back or you keep them, there's no right or wrong way. But I was listening to a statistic on the radio that 96% of our world is inhabited by um, us and domesticated animals. And then the other 4% is wild animals. So that excludes the sea and excludes in insects. But that's another reason why I like to put stuff back because in some small way, um, and it is only in the scheme of all the oceans in the world, it's nothing really, but that's one of the, the reasons. And then somebody else asked me, why do I go fishing? Well, <laughs> I do wonder when I don't catch a lot, but I like it for just being, and more importantly, these blokes here who make my week and make me smile. Um, and if a fish comes along, well, that's great, but it just good for your soul. And while I'm still able to get out here, I'm going to be out. And I can see coming towards me, Dave. And whenever he's come down here, it's never been the best. And I think today is going to be one of those days, but he's a really nice chap. God, the wind's getting up. <laughs> no, no, I think you're probably right, actually. Yeah. But thanks for making the effort, Jack. I'll give you an idea of what the wind's like. That gull is just sitting there on the wind. Look at that. Whoa. Now, Rob said... I know you. You watched some of my films. I watched you yesterday on the Did you? Yeah. Oh, goodness. Well, I'm going to shake your hand and say hello. Hello. What's your name? I'm Zach. Zach. Well, yeah. Zach, I'm well impressed. <laughs> yeah, I watched it, you yesterday, yeah. Goodness. On the east, it's called, like, is that a bite or whatever. So are you, do you live around here, Zach? No. Where do you live then? Half an hour away. So how do you get down here? I get a lift. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. So what, your parents drop you off? Yeah. And then come and pick you yeah. up in a few yeah. hours' time? Yeah. So what are you hoping to catch today? A bass or a conger, hopefully. And what bait have you, you got? Black log. Oh, you got it all going sandals, on. Sandals. Yeah. Some frozen peelers, I think. And where? Which side are you going to fish? Uh, I'm going to have two rods. No, I'm going to have one, two rods on that side, and then hopefully a live whiting on that side. So you're going to hope to catch a whiting, and then. Yeah. And then I've got my lure rod with me. And how long have you fished for? Uh, like five months on the arm, but I started fishing when I was like three, so a while. Goodness. Ten years now. And you like fishing? Yes. Well, I can see that you're very enthusiastic and you have 
quite a lot of fishing gear as well. Have you guys caught anything today? No, we've had some bites, but it's been really, really, really difficult. So you're welcome to come a little bit closer. You can come a bit closer to, um, you could maybe fish between those two rods if you wanted to push yeah, yourself in the wall in there. there and yeah, them and then you can chuck a couple of rods out there and chuck another rod in between those two rods. You'd be yeah. fine. Any whiting caught today? No, well, no. Yeah, I'll have to come and catch. Yeah, well, you need to show us up because <laughs> you are the fisherman of the future. You are angling's future. So who got you into fishing? Uh, well, my dad and his friend Mark. So. Right. Yeah. What's your dad called? Steve. Well, if you wave to the camera and say, hello, Steve. Hello. Yeah? You will see yourself on the next film. Awesome. There's, we came down here last weekend and it wasn't that good. So I'm going to make half a film with last weekend yeah. and a film with this weekend. But fun. you, young man, have made my day. I cannot tell you. It's really nice to meet you. Yeah, and I watched you beach fishing down there. Did you? Yeah. Goodness. Well, I'm well impressed, Zach. And like when you go down there with some people, right? Catch like little plates and stuff. Well, you never know, young fellow. When we're next here, you might be able to come and have a fish with us. When do you normally go fishing? At weekends? Whenever. Whenever. <laughs> so you're on school holiday now, aren't you? Uh, yeah, for a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, enjoy it, fellow. <laughs> well, I'll stop yattering. You. Move yourself down a little bit, chap, and get yourself set up. But really, really nice to meet you. Yeah. All right. How nice is that? What a nice young man he is. Kind of the future of angling, isn't it? Somebody who's really, really enthusiastic. Made my morning, I have to say. So, when all else fails, cook bacon. This little stove that I use is a Coleman stove down here and I'd really recommend it. Even on a windy day it um, works really well. Mega hot flame. I just need to buy a little windshield thing for it. What's your name chap? Roy. Roy. Yeah. Roy, very nice to meet you. I'm Paul. Uh, hi Paul. And how old are you Roy if you don't mind me asking? 78. 78 because yeah. I want to look like you <laughs> when I'm 78 so why or what is the secret of getting to 78 uh, so have fishing motorbikes a good hobby yeah and lots of exercise lots of exercise yeah, don't measure. Eat too much. and don't eat too much yeah, yeah. well there you go there you so go. we all know now yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm 66 oh wow you are the I, I am a teenager yeah, in comparison yeah, to you yeah <laughs> you're actually younger than my girlfriend oh bloody hell yeah goodness well yeah. what can I say yeah but nice to meet you fellow she's, she's a sweet girl. people wonder why I go fishing you're yeah. one of the reasons yeah. go on it's doing stuff right. yeah that's the bite well, you've made up for the rest of us, because <laughs> we, we uh, uh, that is a rockling, isn't it? Rockling, yeah. yeah, they say with rockling is the kiss of death. Oh, right, yeah. If you start catching them, right. we're gooned. But it's a fish, fellow. That's right, yeah. You can go home and go, I caught fish, yeah. which is more than we can say we've done. <laughs> well done. We got here at about quarter past eight. It's now 25 past one. We've caught nothing. Uh, chap down there has caught a very small rockling. So unless there are more fish, <laughs> I'm gonna pack up and go. So thanks for watching. Sorry we didn't get anything today, but we um, certainly tried. We tried a mix of baits, a mix of uh, tackle as a few others down on the wall didn't catch anything and as we know that's the way fishing goes next weekend is obviously Christmas so I won't be going out then as tempting as it might be um, and I will see you after Christmas so all of you out there have a great Christmas have a nice new year and I'll catch up soon take care <laughs>